Positioning in CSGO is arguably the most important aspect to getting kills and winning rounds. You can be the best aimer in the world, but if you struggle with positioning, you won't be able to play to the best of your ability. Hey guys, my name is Suka Fire, and today I'm going to be talking about how to improve your positioning in CSGO and what mistakes to avoid making. So without further ado, let's get right into it. And of course, if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for the channel. The first sort of tactic that I want to go over is how to position yourself as a CT during a rush. When T's are executing a site, stalling time for your teammates to rotate is one of the most important things you can do. In this clip at Mirage B site, Zipic shows some perfect examples on how to do this. While Dupree is holding for a short push and playing for sound cues and apps, Zipix's only job in this situation is to jump spot, get that info, and allow his teammates at A and mid to rotate as soon as possible. After Dupree calls that Liquid are running up out of apps, Zipix can now smoke off apps and try to stall as much time as he can while at the same time allowing his teammates in market to not have to worry about being held from window and apps. Now he runs under the apps window, gets a couple kills, but notice the whole time he's just sticking against the wall and forcing Liquid to swing him from truck if they want to kill him. This just stalls even more time and allows Astralis to completely rotate in through short, market and even flank through bfs all because of zipix stalling time on the site so something you should take away from this is that if your teammate dies on the site and you're all alone all you really need to do is play the stall game and maybe try to get a kill or two just giving your teammates time to rotate and not allowing the t's to get comfortable on the site is something really important you have to do as a ct Managing your nades is a really important way to do this, of course you could just stall pushes with mollies, smokes to cause confusion like Zipix did for apps, and it all just helps your teammates and gives them more time to rotate. Even if you and another player are both alive on the site, always try to play for info, like jump spotting in BFs is always a good idea. Then either establish a crossfire and communicate with your teammate to try and simply just brute force the T's back and if that doesn't work just try and stall and give your teammates more time to rotate. The second thing to keep in mind as a CT is always being able to work with your teammates. For example, I often see a ton of new players just running under Belk on Mirage and just don't really ask for any support from their teammate just in the hope that they can hold this site by themselves. As I said earlier, this is where even the best aimers could struggle. If you ever have more than one person helping you on a site, which you should most of the time, make sure to communicate with them so they're actually in a position to help you. A good example of this is having an A setup of someone at bottom stairs, spotting palace, and somebody under balk. This way, if there's an A execute, the player bottom stairs can walk through the smoke, pull the attention away, and maybe be able to get a kill, and then fall back through the smoke. And ideally, the T's won't be as focused at the player under Belk, so he could swing out and get a kill or two. This is pretty much just a bait setup, and there's of course a ton of different variants of how you can do this, but having one person just draw the attention away while the other plays passively is another good tactic to holding down the site, rather than just both you taking flat out gunfights, and of course using flashes to stall T's and support your teammate under Bal can always be good as well. Using mollies and smokes especially is just a good way to stall pushes in general. And if you pair that with good positioning from you and your teammate on the site, you will hopefully be able to hold it a lot better rather than just taking gunfights. Overall, just realize that communication with teammates while positioning is the most important thing you can do. Along with stalling time for teammates to rotate and playing in a position where you aren't just going to get wide swung and die right away without your teammate being able to help you. Just killing enemies shouldn't be your objective while holding a site. So besides that, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. So I hope this helped you guys understand the basics of positioning in CS. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.